and BJ Penn in the news, and he is not wasting any time getting back in the octagon. The former lightweight champ, and now riding a two-fight losing streak, will uh, look to bounce back from his losses to Frankie Edgar when he's expected to return to the UFC action in as early as November, so just a couple of months away. Uh, it says, Dana White's been texting me, this is what BJ saying, he's been texting me the last couple of days, and it looks like I'm probably going to be back in the ring in November sometime, uh, Penn said uh, in a video on BJPenn.com. Dana's trying to put the fight together, that's what I know as of right now, this is going to be good. Uh, the UFC schedule includes a UFC 122 fight card, headlined by v, uh, uh, Vitor Belfort versus Yushin Okami on November 13th in Germany, and a UFC 123 fight card on November uh, 20th, one week later, uh, in Detroit with Rampage Jackson taking on Ryota Machida. So we're not sure which fight card he'll be on, but uh, there's a couple in November. Yeah. Those are the ones to choose from. But we were talking about this before. You, you mentioned, of course, Gomi's already got an opponent uh, mm -hmm. lined up right now. But who do you think they could line up? So some people are saying like a Clay Guida or something like that. Mm -hmm. What do you think would be a, a viable uh, opponent right let, now? Let him get months? Big Daddy Joe Stevenson again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we got to get him a victory. Yeah, really. I, a, a, Clay, a Clay Guida would be a tough opponent. Just, yeah. I mean, I think he'll... But he'll, you can't give yeah. the guy a can. I yeah, mean. so it's got to be one of the top guys. Yeah, that, yeah. that is a good question as far as who, who they're going to send out there. You know, but it has to be a guy, I think, that's... Melvin yeah, yeah, he can beat Melvin, but that, that would be exciting. Melvin's exciting, got the, yeah. the chance, to, you know, the, the puncher's chance on that one. Mm -hmm. But do you think Melvin would deserve that? That's the only problem. That's a good point, too, yeah. But, I mean, I guess you're looking to try to throw something together in a couple Jose months. Aldo. <laughs> do that, sure. Aldo's like, all right. Yeah, he'd do it. <laughs> he'd he'd oh, he'd fight for Brock Lesnar. Yeah. All right, I mean, let's do it. He is that, uh, he's got stones that big. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that Jose Aldo, I would want to do that to BJ right now. We get him <laughs> if you're not saying that, I still think BJ's got to get over that hump so he can start having these super fights, man. I mean, it's really bumming us out. I think the Takanari Gomi is a fight, you know, like you said, he's already got an opponent. But that's a fight that makes the most sense. Just because of the history, and he's almost assured Takanari Gomi, other than knocking him out, which BJ doesn't get knocked out, uh, you know he's not gonna he's not gonna take him to the ground. You know I mean that that's almost assured that BJ's gonna win that fight. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Hopefully right after we put this thing out, they don't come out with whoever the hell he's gonna fight. Yeah, really. Well, but they gotta come out soon because you gotta give the guy a decent training camp. Yeah, you, know, you have the Tyson Griffins. You know, you, you, of course we, we have the. Who's hey? Throw Edgar in there with him again. <laughs> Best out of five, man. Come oh, on. Geez. I mean yeah. I don't know. I mean what do you think about the Maynard? What do you think about BJ Penn, Gray Maynard? Well, I they say, already got Maynard set up with Edgar. Oh, right? I know, but I mean, what's the, well, that's kind of assuming that Maynard will beat Edgar, which he's, you know, he does have his number. It'd be great to see Edgar come back from that, you know, because he was, I I like was so Penn. thoroughly dominated. I like Penn in a matchup with Maynard way more than yeah. I like, obviously, Penn in a matchup with Edgar. And I think that if, if, if it, it happens again, Edgar, or Edgar loses, you know, to Maynard, Maynard Penn, I say they will never do another Edgar Penn. Okay, yeah. Finn wins. You're like, dude, you ain't never going to have a title shot. Go to WC, bro. <laughs> you we know, can't I, risk it. You're going to beat him again. Man. Oh, my God. But, you know, it's one of those uh, uh, inevitable things that are unavoidable, too. I mean, it could very well happen that way. I mean, there, there's you got to keep Penn, if, especially if, if he just got tripped up by Edgar. He wins one or two fights, he should get a title shot, especially if uh, Edgar retains that title. You, you know that's got to happen again. And, but well, it's, you know, something well, I what do you fans think? are ready for. What do you think about, uh, here you've had, well, one close fight with Edgar Penn, second domination by Edgar. If they fight again, I mean, why aren't we like Rocky Three? Why isn't yeah. everybody, is it because Edgar is too good of a guy? Because Grant no. Edgar is a nice guy. He's got a great dad. No, he doesn't you know, talk crap. BJ doesn't dislike him. No, no. Yeah. So, I mean, is, but there's not that buzz. Like That's the thing. There, there's, there isn't any animosity. But there should be. And yeah. the fights themselves. Were, were kind of listless performances yeah, by Penn. Right. It wasn't so much that, uh, I mean, Edgar, tough as nails, first one, he got that one. The second one, he made it but I mean, yeah, clear. He, but say B.J. Penn had the exact same performance as Frankie Edgar did against him. Just as dominate, because Frankie Edgar was so dominant against B.J. Penn that if B.J. would have had that performance against Edgar, we would have been saying, see, B.J.'s back, B.J.'s yeah, the best yeah. thing ever. Why is it, 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 we're at fault too sometimes, why is it that Edgar isn't getting the credit? Because he, he looked outstanding. I mean, just everything about his game is improved. 
but it's like he doesn't get credit. He, it's all about BJ lost, yeah. not the fact yeah. that Frankie Edgar got so much better and just, I mean, he looked outstanding. It's not fair, but it's a fact. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's uh, because Edgar is just not dynamic. He is not a fan favorite. Penn, you know, he's, he's got the, the, the more of the charisma, more of a dynamic fighter. He, he can be an exciting fighter. The last two fights uh, don't really tell that tale. But that's the thing with Edgar. He's a good guy, great fighter, but he just doesn't, intri- there's no intrigue there. Mm-hmm. He doesn't interest people, and therefore he's not going to get that Well, you know how there's like style over substance? He's substance over oh, style. Yeah. yeah. You know, but then you know, look at this as the main fight. Is that kind of like a womp? Oh, but I mean, that's why will, two title fights that will night. Edgar get it back? Do you think Edgar will get some swagger? If he can have the same performance he did against BG and just dominate Gray Maynard. Remember, Maynard, of course, has a lot. That's his only loss uh, is uh, Edgar to Maynard. Yeah, but I mean, and, and Maynard is undefeated. Yep. So if he can mow through, and he does mow through Maynard, does he get the respect? I wonder. I mean, again, if it's all substance, I think people say, oh, yeah, no, no, he, he's really good. He's really good. But let's talk about somebody else. Yeah. You know, I think that's the problem is he doesn't retain people's attention very long. He's got to uh, dye his hair white. He's got to do something nuts. I don't know. Or, you know, whatever. And it's too bad that we got to that point. But it's I true. know. It's it's a shame too because I mean I respect the guys. He's, he's a he, obviously he's the champion. Let's yeah. face it. But I mean going into this fight against Maynard, I'm picking Maynard. I mean, is it because I'm still not convinced that Edgar is the man? I think Edgar is the man against Penn. I mean, it's pretty clear that he's got his number. He is what uh, what. Anderson Silva was to Rich Franklin, you know, Edgar is to BJ Penn, and I mean, but that's all I can I can give Edgar. Now, Anderson Silva is that to pretty much everybody, yeah. but is Edgar going to be that to Maynard? No, I think that was, I think Edgar's great matchup was against Penn. I think Maynard yeah. is going to own Edgar like Edgar owned Penn. Well, it's just a string. It's going to be yeah. two Rams running into each other, and who can get the takedown, because you know what, we all know what Maynard's uh, game plan is. Yeah. And he is going to be a big, well, I mean, he's a big 155 guy sure. when he comes in there. And that's going to be it. it. Can he defend it? And I just don't know if he can defend it. So we'll see. But anyway, DJ Pan, though, coming back in November, we'll let you know against him.